Hi, I'm Matthias, creator of Piney. Piney is a visual editor for React, Next.js, and Tailwind that runs in Visual Studio Code, Cursor, and Windsurf. And Piney doesn't try to do everything, so it's not a replacement for your coding skills or for that of your AI agent. So instead, Piney focuses on two areas where it can really add a lot of value. So one is visually styling Tailwind with interactive controls and a powerful class inspector. And the second one is navigating the code of your app with smart tools such as Visual Select. And the two core principles of Piney are that all edits happen directly in the code. So there are no abstractions, no cloud services, no lock-in. And the second principle is that Piney is lightweight and it's always there when you need it, but it gets out of your way when you don't. And Piney comes in two editions, free and pro. The standard edition of Piney is completely free. That's something we are doing for the first time. Just install it from Extension Marketplace of Visual Studio Code or your uh, ID and start using it. You don't need to create an account or sign up for anything. To open Piney, right click anywhere in the code and choose Edit in Piney. You can, of course, also create a shortcut for this command. And the free version is packed with useful features, especially when it comes to working with Tailwind. Click on any element in the code to style it with intuitive controls. All commonly used utilities are covered, text, spacing, sizes, backgrounds, and much more. And use the screen size selector to create responsive styling. And by the way, right-clicking on the size tab will also resi resize the preview. And this drop-down here lets you edit styling for a selected state. That's it. Tailwind styling can get very complex. That's why we have a powerful inspector that shows all Tailwind classes of the selected element and of all its parents organized in a neatly editable tree. There you can click on the class to change its value, use the checkbox to toggle the class for the quick preview of how it affects the element, add new classes either by typing or navigating the submenus, and you can work with states and all neatly organized in a tree structure. Use command click um, on Mac or control click elsewhere to select multiple classes and then right click to move or duplicate them to a different state. Tailwind styles are sometimes constructed dynamically, like in this case where we have an object with classes for various button variants. Piney can edit this as well. Just place the cursor in any string that contains Tailwind classes and edit them with visual controls and inspector. This even works with non-React code. Piney keeps track of recently edited components, letting you quickly switch between them associate roots with individual components to always get the relevant preview. When a component is selected, the preview will automatically show the associated root. Piney is designed to work alongside AI coding agents, but it also includes its own AI assistant. One way to use it is with drag and drop. Click Insert, Describe the feature that you want to add and then drag it to the target location. Or use the AI panel with chat interface 
That lets you select the scope of the task, like what kind of action you want to do, for example, a project-wide change, or just transforming the selected code, and also follow up on requests. All of these features are completely free. But if you want more, then Piney Pro is for you. Visual Select lets you click on any element in the live preview to select it in Piney and in the code. This makes navigating the project super easy. You know, want to edit something? Just click on it and then do the change visually or in code. And Visual Select works even if you don't use Tailwind. And in my view, this feature alone can save you a lot of time and it's, it's worth uh, the price of Piney Pro. Um, Visual Select requires a small script to be inserted into the layout. And the script is only included in development mode and can be toggled with environment settings so that it does not impact your production builds and so that it doesn't get included for your team colleagues who are not using Piney. And under the hood, Visual Select is doing some advanced DOM to JSX element mapping. So this works even for Next.js projects where source mapping information is not always present. That's why the mapping might not always be 100% accurate, but even in those cases, it will usually select the element that is close to the correct one. Use the click to select button to switch between visually selecting elements and interacting with your app. So to use visual select, after setting it, setting it up, um, you just click on the click to select button and then you can select elements on the preview. But if you want to like navigate in your app, click on links, then disable click to select, and then you can freely navigate, interact with your app. And activating the click to select button also refreshes the DOM mapping. So if something is off, that's the first thing to try to see if that will resolve the issue. And if selected elements, borders and menus get in the way when you style like rounded corners and borders, um, you can easily toggle them with visual helpers menu. Use control click or command click on Mac to select multiple elements in the tree panel or directly in the preview and use shift and click to select a range of consecutive elements. And then you can use visual controls and inspector to style all selected elements at once. And that's another great time saver. Piney scans the whole project for components so that it can recognize them during visual select. And use the select tool up here to quickly jump to any component in the project. And when Visual Select is active, right-click on Select to only display components that are actually visible in the current preview. Piney Pro can automatically import colors, fonts, breakpoints, and other visual properties from your Tailwind team. And once you point it to your Tailwind source files, Visual Controls and Inspector will reflect your custom theme values. Some features require a little bit of setup. So click on the settings button to open the dialog. Piney tries to auto-detect the URL of the development server and in rare cases where that doesn't work, enter the URL here under, under live preview. Piney's AI Assistant works with multiple AI providers uh, and your own API keys. Open AI Assistant settings to activate providers and choose a quick and smart models. And then in the AI Assistant, you can easily toggle between quick and smart model to optimize your cost and time. 
Use project brief field to enter any custom instructions for the current project. And here you can also define knowledge sources that can then be included in AI assistant prompts, like for example, content or like API documentation or anything else that AI needs to know to correctly uh, perform a task. If you don't need Pioneer's AI assistant, just select this checkbox and the AI panel will be hidden. So next, we have Tailwind uh, configuration. To import your custom Tailwind team, point Piney to the Tailwind configuration and source files. And for Tailwind 4, only the source file is required. Source folders section contains a list of project folders that Piney scans for components. By default, SRC pages and components folders are scanned. So for a very large project, it makes sense to only enter specific folders that contain subset of components that you are, that you are actively working on. You know, like if you have thousands and thousands of components, uh, this you can narrow it down with uh, source folders. As mentioned before, Visual Select requires that a small script is included in the layout of your project. Follow the setup instructions to do that. The general point is to include the Piney script in the layout, but only in development mode, and to optionally toggle it toggle it with an environment setting. So that's like for projects where you collaborate with multiple like uh, team members and some of them might not be using Piney. With the environment setting, you can kind of make sure that Piney script is only included for you. That said, even if the script is included, it, it's really lightweight and it doesn't do anything unless the preview runs in Piney. It's just like dormant there um, and it doesn't cost any overhead. So at the moment, not all build methods are supported. Let me know what you are using so that we can prioritize implementing the support, um, starting with the most commonly used stacks. The Piney user interface is fully customizable and use the workspace menu to save it, to save your um, settings, to save your workspaces. But because it's also customizable, it's possible to mess up things, you know, to mess the panels up. And in that case, this is also very handy because it lets you restore the default workspace. And finally, use manage license button to open a dialog where you can buy and activate your Piney Pro license. So I hope you will decide to get the Pro version so that you can use this cool button here. Your support allows our small bootstrap team to really focus full time on developing visual development tools for web developers like you. Piney is based on PineGraw Web Editor, our visual website builder for static HTML that we've been actively developing for more than a decade. So that makes Piney a mature and powerful tool. But that said, Piney is a new app and as such, it probably has some rough edges and bugs. So if you run into any issues, into any bugs, please let me know so that we can take care of it. Um, Pine is designed to work with any language, any library, any framework. So the plan is to add support for like Astro, Svelte, Vue and other frameworks and uh, or languages in the future. So if you have some wishes, uh, also let us know because this information help us to prioritize what we do next. This was a quick overview of what Piney is and what it can do for you. I hope you will find Piney useful. 
and keep in touch and feel free to contact me if you need any assistance.